and welcome back to the third part of this tutorial so what I want to try and achieve is when I click on any any of the rows here I want it all the information displayed in here and one other thing I need to be able to reset this but let's do this first so I'm going to exit out and let's come back in here you see the the table itself right click on the table and I'm going to go to event mouse click yeah let's use mouse click click on that and right here right there but first thing first let's copy the the object for the table I think is right up here inside this very function there we go I'm gonna copy this yeah let's copy all of this that's fine and come right back here and do that again mouse click there we go right and the object I just copied I'm gonna paste that in there and I will then declare let's say int selected row selected rows equals J table one dot get selected row yes enter an S there selected row that's it there we go and I now need the names of this very table so the very first one that is going to be txt I think that's what the case txt student id dot set text and the text we're setting is going to be from here record record tape paste that in here and I would then ask it to get the value dot get value at select ted row copy that and that is going to be my number one and that will be one dot to spring there all right that's the very first one that works out fine so I'm just gonna copy this in total I have 14 now copy this again and paste it there so this will be two and so on there okay now if that is this next one is going to be there and followed by surname address then we have gender I believe okay for gender that is CBO gender okay we have an error this is meant to be the combo box so first of all let's just comment that out and enter dot set selected item it should be set selected item there we go this is coming up there we go and I'm gonna now de delete all of this yeah and there we go so we also have this one is going to be mobile so that is fine and the rest are going to be combo box so this one is 
that we didn't pass. CDO mask has selected item as well. Copy that and just paste it right there. And all the others are selected item anyway, so might as well just replace it all, then change the names around. There we go. Now this one, the next one is games, CBO games. There. And after games, we have data, CBO data science. There. Then we have analysis here, CBO analysis. Right, and after that, we have graphics. CBO graphic. And then we have CBO database, CBO data base then we have science cbo science cbo science and finally we have cbo english there okay let's give that a try so when we click on the table we should be able to display all of this all of the data on the table so compile and run now run let's see there we go okay click there we go look at that yeah that's fine it's working fine so that's fine now let's take care of these other buttons. Maybe we take care of this first. All right, exit out here. And let's go back in here. Select the update. And come in here, click. Okay. So for the updates, first thing first, you see this data I have inside the table. I'm going to just copy that and drop it here. There we go and uh, i'm also going to copy this data that we have in here add add new copy everything and just dump it in there copy right underneath here paste and i've actually changed this message there so you might as well just delete it that for the try cache of yeah let's delete this as well the choice is yours you can leave this if you want but I just feel I should I'm gonna comment this out and leave the other one okay now let's come right down here that's for try cache for for the odd and I'm using the different one for the update okay the next thing we want to do now is with the update I'm going to first of all let's declare an integer here just call that ID and that very ID that's for my that's for the database anyway that's going to be an integer dot let's pass in and what are we passing there the content that I have inside record record table copy that and dump it and that the object in there and the next thing is I'm gonna have to to get the value dot get get value 
and the value that we get in art that is going to be from my role here copy that paste that in here there we go and I'm just going to give it zero value there let's say dot to spring that should be a zero dot to string there okay let's correct all these errors in here that should be uppercase integer now what is this get rid of that all right now this is fine so all then all that we then need to do is to change our SQL statement here. I'm going to first, first of all get rid of all of this. Let's just close that. And in here, I'm going to enter update. Update. That is going to be the the name of my database, which is a student database, and set. student ID equals nothing comma then I'm also going to set the the name that's first name that will be equals question mark as well I'm going to press enter and the next one is going to be surname so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other the other columns comma and we have a grace here and so on guys so and I have gen so I'm, I'm gonna speed that up and get back to you right okay I've entered every single one of my columns in there but one that is missing will be that of the ID so let's come right down here so the very first one is the student ID, which is right there. Then followed by first name, surname, and so on. But right underneath here, I'm going to enter S P S T dot that will be set int because that's an integer value. That should be a dot int integer. Okay and that is number 15 and that integer value is my id the one i declared right up there this one okay now so we can then enter a message in here let's just say student record updated And that's it my function is call up there that will populate the table again once it's updated so let's just give it a try and see anyway hopefully there shouldn't be any problem right okay so let's run and see all right click and run compile first before we run it now run okay so if we select any of these we can go ahead and update it instead of instead of Kingsland we can just change that to let's say Lagos but let's change this as well so we call that old old town road yeah and that's for Tony Montana so let's click on update student so record updated so we should be able to see old town road let's see that there we go old town road that is fine okay let's take care of print reset and update then we can call it the end of this program
so we only need delete reset and print so i'm gonna exit out there and let's go back in here okay let's take care of the print first so i'm gonna right click and let's go to event add action perform and right here let's get rid of this move it up a little bit okay right there so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method there or an object sorry and that object is going to be message format for the header and I'm going to make that new this format header come right in here and we're going to specify the following print or printing in progress printing in progress or in, pro yeah, in progress anyway there that is for the header I think we're going to have to import a library here come in here just click there does it we need to add this library click there we go okay now I need another one so let's call that let's just copy this paste and I'm going to call that footer there for the footer maybe we should enter page number on right in here and let's just say page the page number uh, zero zero comma and that is going to be the number comma integer number of pages in integer format right so i'm now going to use try cache here let's say try okay what about my cache statement what will i use okay i can just say cache let's say java dot abstract windows 2 dot print yeah that's it and print printer exception okay double click on that and let's say for e let's come right down here let's display our message here so for the print message i'm going to enter system dot arrow that's for the print arrow dot let's say format let's just say no printer found no printer found there we go comma let's say e dot get message right and that is for my error handler let's see okay and up here let's enter the name of my table that's j table that's j table one really dot print and that is going to be j table as the name of the object dot print mode dot let it be normal normal and comma enter my header and comma enter the footer there we go let's enter semicolon there so that should take care of the print there so we can 
Just try that out and see. So let's run it now. Run. Okay, let's click on the print. Let's see what's going to happen with the print. There we go, guys. Look at that. I'm going to print it on here. Let's print it here. A PDF. And click on print. Let's see how that's going to turn out to be to look. That's the default name, so I'm going to save. Yep, save on the desktop. And there we go, that's it right there. So I'm going to close that. I don't need that anymore. We've taken care of the print. Now let's take care of reset. Then we'll come to the delete. Okay, let's exit out. And I'm now going to select resets. Right click, event action, action perform. And there, for the resets, let's maybe we should just copy all of this here. Let's come in here. Let's go to okay, let's come in update and copy the name of the data. I'm gonna copy all of this. Let's copy everything. Now let's go back to the resets. Event action action perform. When I'm right in here, paste that. And I'm going to delete some stuff in there. Get rid of all of these. And change this one to set and let's get rid of that. Hey, that's the first one taken care of. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the others. So get rid of all of these first. Get rid of this as well and copy this. Let's paste it here. Right. Okay, we're almost there now. So that's going to be a different one. There. So for gender, that is going to be. Yeah, let's get rid of the content in there as well. Why the rest will be? We can just make that zero here. Yeah? Okay, the rest will be zero. Mobile. Okay, mobile. That's correct. Get rid of. Copy this and paste it here for all this. Okay, that should take care of our reset. So, and we are almost there. Right. There, that's that's it taken care of. Let's get it indented properly. That's all. Um, let's take it to the edge and then bring it back there and I'm also going to take care of the table actually let's come right down there there we go that's for the table okay so we clear the table as well now let's run okay let's try out this reset I, I'm going to enter whatever in here and just take it from there anyway let's see let's click on reset this will not totally disappear it's just a reset there we go and if I click on update nothing should happen really okay let's take care of uh, deletes because we can always come back here and there will be nothing in here so we should be able to delete something like this so let's take care of the delete since reset is working as well so exit out let's come in here select okay action action perform okay to take care of this delete I'm going to have to copy some 
some stuff here let's come to updates grab everything here yeah let's copy that and we come right down to delete right here paste now for the delete to work i'm going to change all of this let's go to reset and change all of that to whatever i have inside reset there we go come right down here copy all of that and right back to delete let's go back to delete here and come right down here yeah i replace all of this yeah delete and just paste that in there now the other thing i want that i would do is i'm going to come up here and I think right underneath here I showed let's declare an integer and this integer I'm going to call it delete item and this word delete item I'm going to let's say okay let's go into exit then I will, I will copy that inside exit copy all of this I will have inside exit yeah let's grab all of these i'm back to my delete once i get it all sorted properly i'll show you guys let's, let's talk you through so let's say int delete item equals this message so asking you to confirm if you want to delete so in here let's just enter dot confirm first thing first let's come right down here and comment this one out so i'm just going to say dot that to be show okay confirm dialog and inside it, the dialog would be let's say no value in there so all we just need to then say in here is confirm if you want to delete delete item right that is my very first argument then maybe we should use warning okay let's say comma we can use warning dialog there that should be uppercase and come out here say comma then we can enter all of these other ones so grab this let's just say that yes or no copy that paste that in here right what is enter semicolon and i'm going to get rid of this now now i will then use an if statement so here i'm just i've set my variable so i'm going to say if delete item equals this dialog result yes So if is equals equals yes then if the option is yes then what I want the system to do is to do as follows okay let's come right down here okay so let's go down here and just close that come right here let's end that today that should take care of that error and okay i'm going to now move all of this let's grab those cut them all off let's take it right underneath here there and what i will then do is let's come up here and set P, P is on 
dot set int one comma and that will be for the ID. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of that. That'll be for the ID, get rid of the other one. Yeah. Then the other thing is okay now let's take care of the sql statement that will actually take care of the delete so right there so all i just need to do is enter delete that is going to be from the student database so enter student database that is where ID is going to be question mark there and that should take care of all of that right and I've also add a focus there for this text box the student ID and let's see I think that we that's it for this Okay, let's let's run it and see how it's gonna work. Compile and then we click on run. Yeah, decision time. Let's try this out, select that and just click on delete. Yes, confirm. Let's say no. Let's try it again record deleted there we go that's it it's working all right let's enter new data in there then enter let's say james james williams that's his address there good plan clothes there we go move that number and so on so that's it guys we will just finish creating our own student database system ah so that's james william there okay guys with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and um, please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel so i'm going to say bye for now and you all have a nice day Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye for now.